Hi, welcome to Calypso Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll see how to display data on a table control. There's two ways of creating a table control. You can either create the control from scratch by dragging it from the toolbar, or you can drag the database table you want to display from the project tree. When we drop the database table, a wizard comes up and we're going to select the first option, create a table control. Now we select the columns we want. I'm going to uncheck them all and just select code and name. Press done and the control is automatically created. Let's adjust this size. Now, double click it to access its properties. If we switch to the content tab, we'll see that the table control is set to be filled with tables. This means that a table control can display data from several database tables. If we check out the physical columns, there's two of them, and by double-clicking the first one, we see that it's called code, it displays the title code, and it's linked to the database table customers column code. If we double-click the other one, we see that it's called name, it displays the title name, and it's linked to database table customers column name. So Calypso knows, knows how to display data on this control due to these properties. What he doesn't know is when. Calypso only fill this control when we tell him to. So let's access the form properties by either double clicking the background, which can be a little bit difficult now, or by pressing this form button or even the shortcut control F3. If we switch the Actions tab, we see that we can define actions in the opening of the form. The action we want is Refresh Control. I'm going to type it. So we want to refresh the table customers, so we press Save. And before we proceed, let me explain you these additional actions that Calypso created. This is what we call the Error Management. These are individual actions that Calypso creates automatically because refresh control action can return some kind of error. You can manage these as you wish, but we don't want to do any of that for now. Still, it can be a, a little bit annoying having all these lines just because of one action, so we can collapse them into the refresh control. Let's press save and we're ready to go. I'm going to launch the simulator so we can see the result. Let's connect to the database. And there you go, data on the form. Don't forget that this was possible only because we've set MIS Communicator in the tutorial about communication profiles. Now we want to create a table control, but for an offline database table. Since there's no more space in the current form to create another table control, let's create a new form. I'm going to call it Form Products. Let's give it a title. Save. Now we're going to need an exit button, so let's just copy this one. We can use the Ctrl-C, Ctrl-V shortcuts, right-click and select copy, paste, or even use the toolbar buttons. So all that is left now is to repeat the previous process. We drag the table we want to display onto the form, we select the first option, we select the columns that we want, we press done, and just like before, we're going to adjust its size, and also we need the refresh control action. So I'm going to go to the form properties, actions, refresh, control, save, Collapse and save. So, 
I'm going to start by renaming for main to for customers. And now that we have two forms and no way to open the second one, and it doesn't make sense to open it from this one, let's create a menu form. So I'm going to pull all of this aside. Create a new form. And we're going to start by saying that this is going to be our first form from now on. Now I'm going to call it form menu. Set it side to menu and save. Calypso now prompts us about switching the first form and we'll say yes. We can copy paste the exit button we have. And now I'm going to show you a quick way of creating a button to open a form. Start by selecting the form you want to open. As you can see, it's now selected in the project tree. All we have to do now is drag it into our menu form. The button is created and we're going to repeat the process. Select products form, drag it and the button is created. So all we need to do now is to fix these labels. So instead of displaying the title of the form, just the text customers and the same thing here. So let's try our application now. We now see the form menu and if we open the customer's form, everything is working as before. We close it and we try to open the products form and we see that no data is displayed. What could have went wrong? Actually nothing. Notice that customer's table, it's online, so all the data is retrieved in real time from the server. On the other hand, product's table, the one we are trying to display now, it's offline, meaning that the data is retrieved from the local database. So we need to synchronize it with the server in order to have local data. Let's just check that out using the SQL button products, execute, no records. So the good news now is that we don't need to worry about synchroniz synchronization just yet. So if we go back to the designer, let's test our application again. Check out this option. It allows us to send data along with the project to the simulator and it's not demo data. Calypso will actually go to the server and fetch the data from the offline tables. So we're going to check it. We repeat the test to see if this thing is working. So customers, online data, exit, products, and offline data. We can even execute the SQL button to see the data on the local database. Congratulations, you've concluded the tutorial about displaying data. See you on the next one.